What's going on YouTube? Gsn right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use put the key ID lock in order to remove the screen passcode if you forgot it or your kid accidentally set up a passcode and stuff like that from your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. The program itself can be found here on wootiki.com iPhone passcode unlocker and it's called ID lock. And yes, it's compatible with iOS 15, no problem. It's available for both Windows and Mac OS. Now this also has multiple other features. For example, it can reset the device so that you don't have lingering Apple IDs on your device, it can bypass MDM, it can even unlock the screen time passcode if you forgot it and you can't remove the limitations, and it is compatible with most devices. So let's check it out over here. Once you have the program, it looks like this. It has four modules. The first one is unlock Apple ID, unlock screen passcode, unlock screen time passcode, which is essentially four limitations, and the bypass MDM. We're going to take a look at the unlock screen passcode over here. It's quite simple to use, but you should know that it will remove all the the data on your device. All the data that you don't have a backup for will be removed and it will also update your iOS version to the latest one available. Another important matter is that if Find My iPhone is enabled, you will need your Apple ID and password in order to activate the device after this completes. If you don't know the Apple ID and password, your device will get stuck on the iCloud log. So do keep those in mind. Now with that out of the way, in order to unlock the screen passcode if you forgot it and reset your device to factory settings, you press start over here and connect the device. As you can see it automatically detected my iPod Touch 6 generation and you press here download to get the latest firmware for your device. It will begin the process of downloading the latest firmware which will allow it to basically reinstall iOS on your device. This can take a couple of minutes depending on how fast your internet connection is so I'm gonna be right back once it completes. Alright so at this point after the download it will verify the integrity of the firmware to ensure it wasn't corrupted during the download and after that it's complete it will start extracting the firmware on your computer. So as you can see it says firmware has been downloaded which is okay we can press start over here and the process will begin. It says extracting the firmware and it says extraction completed. Now it says note please keep your device connected via USB cable to proceed. So yes after you press unlock over here you should not disconnect the device until it finishes. If you do disconnect the device it will corrupt the installation and your device will be stuck in an Apple logo boot loop and you will need another software to fix it. So don't do not disconnect the device. I'm gonna press unlock over here. It says fail to start because your device is not in recovery or DFU mode. We have to put the device in DFU mode. So to do that you just have to press the power button and the home button on older devices or the volume down button on the newer ones and keep pressing them until the device shuts down. Once it shuts down release the power button but keep holding the volume down or home button until it connects to the computer and your screen should remain black. At this point you can press unlock over here and and it should say something like this. It asks us to insert this passcode to ensure that we really do want to erase all the data. So it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. I'm gonna press unlock over here and that's it. It says removing screen lock. So at this point this may take a while to complete. It can take up to 10 minutes but it really depends on your device. The device will reboot a couple of times during this procedure. It's nothing. You don't have to worry about it. Just do not disconnect the device. It will show the progress bar in an Apple logo and it may reboot a couple of times during this procedure. After this is done you will have to set up the device again, you know the language, the country, the Wi-Fi connection and everything in there and if it's iCloud locked you will have to input your Apple ID and password. Alright so as you can see it started moving. It might take a while so I'm gonna be right back once it completes. Alright so after about 10 minutes or so it says unlock is complete. Please check whether your device can start and that may take a few minutes. Please wait patiently. So at this point you might still see the progress bar increasing because there are still some files to be installed but you can safely disconnect the device and wait of course for it to go to the setup screen. You can press down in here and that's it. Right so after a while as you can see it shows the hello screen. I have connected it to my Mac so that I can record the screen of the device and uh, we can start setting up the device like normal. We go here through languages and country and stuff like that and you select whatever your configuration is. After the activation part you go through here and as you can see you now can create a brand new passcode. You can either go with a passcode or you can go with passcode options and don't use a passcode if you don't want to. You can now set up the device as new. I'm gonna skip through all these settings pretty fast. Set up later in settings, don't share over here and get started and that's it. You can see now the device is fully working 
and the applications work fine as well. So you can use your device normally and of course if you have a backup you can now restore the backup with no problem to get all your data and applications back. Alright so that's basically it, that's how you use Wuteki ID Lock in order to remove the screen passcode from the device and you can definitely check it out in the link below, there is a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till next time, peace out.